BlackBerry, a phone that was very popular at one time, in fact more so than the Androids back then. However, much has changed and now we see that the new BlackBerry sport Android OS instead, paired with BlackBerry's security layer. Here we have the DTEK60 and let's see how it fares. Design-wise, there are a few hits and misses. Now, for those who are not aware, technically the DTEK60 design is based on Alcatel Idol 4S. It is a beautiful piece of work with glass on both sides with a metal frame around it that sort of jut out a little. Now, it feels very slim in hand and very stylish to boot. Although it is a fingerprint magnet being made of glass, but I guess by this point we are sort of used to it already so it isn't really a deal breaker. What was more annoying was that tiny gap between the glass and metal that lint tend to get stuck in whenever you put it in the pocket or a handbag. Now the dark grey finishing under the glass at the back looks really pretty but I really hated the protruding camera bump that didn't allow me to place the phone on its back properly. Ergonomics wise, it is also really strange that the power button is placed at a really strange place. Well, right at the top corner of the left side which is really hard to reach. Now the ideal placement for this button is instead replaced by a shortcut button which I always tend to mistake it as the power button. Well, the DTEK60 features a 5.5 inch QHD AMOLED screen that is pretty vibrant especially against the dark bezels of the phone. It isn't overly bright so watching movies and playing games on it is quite enjoyable although it does tend to heat up when you're playing graphic intensive games. Okay, so let's get to the gist of it. Since the DTEK60 features an Android OS, where does BlackBerry come in? While well, introducing the BlackBerry Hub, the software that makes a BlackBerry, well, a BlackBerry. Firstly, the DTEK app that comes pre-installed with the phone allows you to manually switch off permissions, whether it is your locations, camera, access, and so on, for each and every app installed in your phone. Then there is the BlackBerry Hub, where it pulls notifications from your messaging and email apps such as WhatsApp and Gmail, showing them all in one place. Now, if you tap on the message in the Hub, the app opens up instead to show the message. However, this can be quite annoying when you get notifications from both the Hub and the app. Now, although BlackBerry has mentioned it is more secured, honestly, well, I can't really see how much more secured it is compared to what Android currently offers. Now, the DTEK60 comes with 3000 mAh battery with a Type-C port that supports quick charge. Battery life is not too impressive, but thankfully, BlackBerry makes up for it with its quick charge. As for its camera, it is your usual run-of-the-mill higher-end smartphone camera that produces decent photos in normal lighting conditions and kinda grainy in low light. The photos aren't the best since it always looks like there is a soft filter of sorts overlaid but generally, it is pretty decent. The BlackBerry DTEK60 is priced at 2,388 ringgit and honestly, I find the price a little steep. However, if you used to be a BlackBerry fan using Android right now, you might want to consider moving back to that familiar feeling you once knew.